Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit's Craft server. It's episode 170 and today we're going to be doing something that has been incredibly well requested down in the comment section, especially on the previous episode where I went back and just took a look at all of the things that I've done in this Hermit Craft season. You have all asked me to clean up all of the things that have been breaking because you, you know how bases are. They're one of those things you need to maintain. It's a bit like a house, you know, if you leave a house without doing any form of maintenance or any form of cleaning up, things begin to get really messy and things begin to break. And that seems to be the case for some of the builds in my base. There are some farms that seem to be malfunctioning. They seem to have broken down, so we'll fix those up. There are some redstone contraptions that seem to have broken themselves, I'm guessing due to unloading. So we'll need to take a look at those. There are some blocks missing here and there, for example, this block seems to be seems to be missing. Uh, that's that's one of the first things that we're gonna, we're gonna have to replace. But yeah, there's all sorts of different maintenance tasks that we're going to have to do in today's episode. So we're going to be shooting around the base and just basically doing some spring cleaning. So what on earth has gone wrong here then? Uh, there we go. That's got to be it. Surely. Wait, hang on. What? So is it literally just? Oh, I can imagine that is probably the case actually. So this repeater runs across like this. So if we run this all the way across here, and we're going to need to get ourselves a repeater, which we're actually running really low. We might have to refill all of my shulker boxes. But if we just connect this thing up with a repeater, is that going to kick those things into action? That sounded pretty promising to me. So you've got sea lanterns there. It looks like we've connected up this. We've got sea lanterns over here. So really, was it just one piece of redstone being missing? <laughs> That's hilarious. I knew it was too good to be true. This one still seems to be broken. And I wonder why that is. Although... Oh, I can't even remember how this redstone circuit works. So that looks like it's not connected into anything, though. Oh, no, no, no. That observer should be doing it. That's so weird. Turns out that was also quite a simple fix. There was just a handful of bits of redstone dust that needed removing. So now let's just quickly clean up all of these chests here and get those removed. And that should hopefully mean that this entire area up at the top here is now completely clean of anything going wrong. Next, we need to fix up a little redstone system here, which unlocks this hopper down at the bottom. So this, this is like my little holding system for all my items so I can AFK and let the storage system run through. And actually, this lever is actually powering this hopper, which means that the items aren't flowing down. So I guess we should probably move that at some point, but first, before we do anything, we should probably power the redstone to stop all the items from flowing into the storage system. Uh, so that goes like that. And then how should we do it? Maybe just drop it back by a block? Oh, wow, okay, yeah, we've got loads of zombies in here, by the way. Right, that's been a very simple fix, and that should mean that now our little chest system here should actually be afk able so that we can stay here overnight and hopefully allow all of these items to drop through into the storage system. In fact, I might do that at some point soon, because this is getting real clogged. And you know what, before I actually patch up this hole, I am getting a little bit sick and tired of the zombie and skeleton noises that we get through this area, so it might be worth me just running through with my torches and giving it a quick light up. I actually thought I had done this, but ah, oh, I see where they're spawning from. So this is where I occasionally go to do some cobblestone mining, and it's the only place in this entire area within about 300 blocks where mobs can spawn. So naturally, yeah, they are spawning a lot, a lot, a lot. I could be about to lose my 100 levels. I'm quite scared. You know what I really do need to get another of? I need to get myself another bow. Having a bow was really, really helpful, and I don't really understand where mine's actually gone. I mean, I can't I can't remember when I lost it. Did it run out of durability, or did I just die? I probably died, knowing me. Why on earth did I get attacked by a zombie called Carol? Oh, is that the one that we did for the challenge when we were trying to get all the achievements? Oh my word, where are these guys coming from? Oh, there's another dark area down there, I see. Anyway, that should just about do it for that space there. We shouldn't be hearing any zombies or mobs in the background. Now it's time to actually grab myself a bunch of this stuff. And we're going to pop through into the nether because there is one specific block that you guys have been asking me to place for 
months. Now I can promise you, I don't not replace these blocks on purpose. It's just every single time I run through the nether, I think to myself, oh, I'll, I'll replace that next time. I'll remember to bring the block. And then I never have the block on me. And I think, oh, I'll do it next time. And then, yeah, so on and so forth. And it gets unfixed for months. It just gets left for months and months. But now, so that goes there. Is that a quartz block? Okay, we can we can take that out, replace that, replace that. There we go. I think that is the nether tunnel all fully repaired. Ah, oh, there's a cobblestone slab. I also need to find a suitable place to put these guys because they seem to have found their way into my storage system. Wait, hold on a second. Would this work? Oh, don't tell me this is broken as well. If a hermit would set up some form of general maintenance service where they come by your base every month for maybe a diamond or two and just fix up and patch up any holes that they see, that would be a fantastic, I would pay that. In fact, I'd probably pay four, maybe even eight diamonds a month. Well, looks like that's now fixed too. So that's just gonna make its way back down. We're creating some crazy ghost blocks here, but... That does the trick. Okay, so the elevator's fixed, which is something that I didn't realize was broken, but I don't use it very often because, as you can see, fireworks are much better. So let's grab these parrots, which have now teleported up here, and try and perch them somewhere around my maps. So there we go. Knife and Fork can now enjoy themselves over here, safe and sound, away from all the slimes and zombies down underneath my base. Next little maintenance task for today is to fix up the one redstone lamp which is switched off in the cactus farm. Thank you ever so much to everyone who pointed that out down in the comments section. I have not done that very well. Okay, let's try that again. That's a little bit more like it. So yeah, one of the storage silos doesn't have its redstone lamp. I don't know how I missed that. How on earth did I not spot that? I was too busy in my own head, I guess. Uh, let's see. All right, there's cactus up there. I thought that was a creeper then for some reason. What could be stopping it? It looks... This seems like a strange one, actually. Let's see, is a comparator missing? Is it something real obvious? It doesn't look... Ah, oh, yeah, there, there is a comparator missing. It's that one right there. We are knocking them all off today. This is going really well. Okay, next up, we have got melon and pumpkin farms. For some reason, they seem to have stopped harvesting. Again, that's another thing that's happened a bunch of times this season. I think it's something to do with me unloading the chunks. Let's take a look. Will this work? Nope. No. Is there another set of hoppers underneath here? I feel like there is. Is it this one that's locked? It's now just swapped sides. Is this... Okay. okay. Yeah, it looks like it just needed a bit of a refresh. I think it might have just needed a refresh. Yep. Okay. A wolf has spawned on my pumpkin and melon farm. I thought that was my dog, which... Out of interest, does anyone know where my dog's gone? I swear I had some dogs at some point. They seem to have disappeared. Okay, that's that's exactly the same. So if we just grab this item. There we go. That should have fixed it. I might actually finally clear up these signs, which I have throughout my base. Let's see what date. What date were these issued? Let's see if we can see this. Oh, I wonder if I've just destroyed the one sign which said it. There's another one in the center here. Let's see, does this have a date on it? I feel like they had dates on them. No, it doesn't look like it. Either way, I think I'm going to remove it. And this one is going to be a little bit precarious. I think that should do it. These have been here for over 100 episodes now. Another little thing that needs fixing here. Well, we actually need to fix up the iron farm, so I should probably do that too. But there has been a beacon missing on this side for... Whoa! No! Oh, for goodness sake, now I've got to fix that! What? That was a super creeper as well. It's blown out iron blocks. Is that some kind of sick joke? What sort of creeper was that? Another one just came along and almost shredded my tree farm. That was super, super close. Okay, I think the issue is, is that, yeah, beacons actually cast light. So this was the light source which was stopping this beacon from being, well, deadly. Much, much better. Things are looking symmetrical now, which is fantastic. Okay, what is wrong with this? Come on, what's wrong? 
Where's the iron golem that is causing the problem? So we've got all our villagers. That was a strange way of saying villagers. I'll be the first person to admit it. I don't know what happened to my voice there. But where on earth is the iron golem which is breaking this thing? Reveal yourself. Is it gone? Or is the top one broken? I can't remember which one's broken now. There was a there was definitely one that's broken. Or did I fix it recently? No. What? What are you doing in there, man? And what have you done to the poor villagers? Oh, if I try and kill that guy, he is going to go ham on me, isn't he? Oh, I'm kind of scared. Oh, I, so this is fine. This is easy. Right, sweet. Uh, I guess there should hopefully be enough villagers up here to actually cause villagers and, and, and iron golems to spawn. So then they'll drop through there and, yeah, we'll get ourselves a working system. Hopefully that fixes up both of them. Are there any iron golems around here? I don't think there are. This boat here can go. I, I don't know where that's come from. Okay, but I'm feeling a little bit cleaner now. Um, ah, oh, yeah, storage system. Right, this anvil can go. That's all good. Uh, these shock in fact, you know what this lava what is this? Oh, I've just I've just destroyed that block I kind of needed that block, but what is that lava from? Why is there lava there? I, I never really understood it. It doesn't really make too much sense. So that's all covered uh, These shulker boxes, they're just filled with literally random items So you can put those in the storage system and then my ender chest that can actually move to a better location And what is this gravel block doing here? Is that a necessary block? I feel like it isn't. Even if it was intended, it shouldn't be there. It's really, really ugly. This can go, uh, that's empty, and that one's empty as well. So I've just cleared out all of those items and we'll put these empty shulker boxes somewhere in this storage system. That's all good. Wow, that has made a difference. Look how much nicer this place looks now. I mean, I know we're full of chests, but I am actually going to sort that out towards the end of today's Hermitcraft episode. Oh, one thing that we probably should do is actually update this map. Has that just not been updated in ages? Or is that... That's just what my base looks like on such a small scale. That's mental. Because look, there, that purple patch is the gaming district. So that shows you how crazy this map actually is. Oh, this isn't necessarily a fix-up job, but it's something that I've been meaning to do for a long old time. And that is to get rid of these chests here. I managed to bounce out of the water then somehow. Because th there is so much good stuff in these chests. Look at this. Look, loads of good concrete for starters. But most importantly, look how much nether quartz there is. I would say that all of these areas here, I'm just flying around. I'm looking at them. I'm trying to work out. There is actually that one block that was missing at the start of the episode. We'll quickly go and clean that little fella up. Oh, it's the wrong type of block. Okay, thankfully I actually have some prismarine bricks. Oh, there's a quartz slab there. Okay, we'll go and fix that up. But for the most part, apart from those little things, I would say that these are actually probably the cleanest they've been in many, many months. I'm looking around, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing broken. That's good. Okay, that's brilliant. I, I'm quickly gonna fix up those blocks. And then we're going to head off towards the slime farm because something's gone a little bit wrong over there now. I've also patched up all of the extra holes that I seem to have in my nether tunnel. I'm trying my best to keep an eye out for them. Oh, that one. Is that the one that people have mentioned in the past? I feel because I see these things pop up in the comment section. And I'm like, I, I swear there's not a hole in my nether tunnel. That could have been the one that I've seen people commenting about. Now, the issue that I've spotted is that one, one or two of the collection areas look like they might have stopped working, which is interesting. I hate working with minecarts. This is generally why. So this one, that one works. That's good. I think we have a problem with where they're stopping. Okay, well, that's definitely just moved in the, in the wrong direction. What we want is we want them to be stopping here. And some of them occasionally stop on the tops. And I'm guessing it has something to do with when I unload the chunks. I think it might be this one that's broken. This is the one that I saw. Look, there are way too many slime balls here. I think if we wait for this to power, we shouldn't actually be too long away. I think this is the one that got stuck. Yeah, it's just not quite far enough over. So that's definitely something that we're going to have to keep an eye out on. 
Uh, it's, it's not a big problem, we're just going to have to, yeah, keep our eyes on it because we don't want that to go wrong. Man, we are ticking everything off the list. I am, I'm actually struggling to think of any ideas as to what else needs to be fixed around my area. Okay, there's quite a lot in the town. Yeah, there, there's some serious holes that need to be patched up in the town. You know what, now that I've flown around for a little bit, it doesn't actually look that bad. The only place that I will say for sure needs a little bit of... Okay, maybe, maybe it really doesn't need that much work. There is about four gaps there. That's what I was thinking of. I just thought I had made a much more of a mess of the town than I actually have. Okay, let's get that cobblestone and that will sort this. Apparently my shovel's in here as well. Fair enough. I'm, I just leave stuff every day up where, don't I? Yeah, this area's done. Oh my word, this is gonna be the cleanest my base has ever been. Uh, what, what, where else even is there? Are you serious? There's got to be more stuff that I've messed up and broken and destroyed. I mean, those chests kind of need to be there. They're helpful. Dude. No. Surely not. You know what? There is actually something else that I want to fix up, which is going to massively improve the efficiency of my slime farm. Because right now, some of the slime balls aren't actually being picked up because they're a little bit clo too close to the fences. So I'm going to get myself some powered rails and some regular rails, if I can find them. So we've got 29 there, that should actually be enough. And then we have some regular ones here and we're going to go over there and just do a little bit of rearranging. So the issue that I've spotted with this thing, let's see if we can see it, is that, yeah, some of, some of the slime doesn't actually get picked up. So you can see the slime very, very, very close to the fences doesn't actually get picked up. And I thought this was just because the minecarts weren't going around. It turns out that it's actually because we need to have ourselves a minecart rail right about there. I don't know if you can even see it. It needs to be somewhere around about there. And I, I'm breaking things as I'm walking. We're gonna have to change up these minecart tracks. I'm gonna have to allow that to happen. How could we even do that? Oh yeah, we need, no, we need a minecart track here. Oh, that should actually be quite a lot easier because we just kind of go like this. So let's see, if we just do this and then maybe place in one powered rail there and then run this back across and then do something like that. Ah, well, yep, yeah, that, that just about does it. I, I think, yep, yeah, okay, well, I'm just gonna crack on through and do that to each and every one of these and then we should be picking up even more slime balls than before. Does it pick it up? I, I think it did. <laughs> it was impossible to tell. That was very unconclusive, but as far as I can tell from my experiment, it looks like it is working and I'm actually more than halfway around now. I think that might be the last one. So that's all hooked up. If we just take a look around here, I think this one was the first one that we did. Yep. Okay, so we should have full coverage over all of them. Now let's take a look out here. Yes, now that is what I like to see. So all of the slime balls look like they have been removed from the very closest points out the front. Let's take a look. Okay, the minecarts are running. All right, it looks like it missed one of them. But for the most part, it looks like it is actually picking up all the slime balls. All right, let's see. There, there are lots and lots of slimes that have just died there. And some of them have got their slime balls next to the fence. So now we wait, hopefully not get killed by a slime. Okay, that's picked up those. Complete coverage. Complete coverage. There's like, these ones are clearly the awkward ones. I wonder why that is. They must just be between blocks kind of thing. So you're never gonna get 100% picking up, but that has probably improved the efficiency of these farms by maybe, probably about 50% to be honest with you. Most of the slime balls are actually ending up there. Now to ramp things up for today's Hermitcraft episode, we're actually going to be heading down into this area here and we are going to be clearing this thing out once and for all. Hopefully, all of these items here will make their way nicely into my storage system because if I unlock this... That will begin the process of items going through. I'm a little bit confused why I can't see it though. Are there items going out? 
Doesn't look like <laughs> Hold up, what's going on here? So if I remove these, what the heck is going on? Huh? I've switched that off. There should be... Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot to remove my redstone torch. Right, now we are onto something. And we have got items leaving... Through here, yeah, okay. Brilliant, so, those items are now flowing out, and as I say, hopefully, this should kick it into action. Am I gonna have to manually override this? Yes, I am. So, all of these are going to be clearing through, all of the items are going to be making their way through the system. It's going to cause some horrendous lag on the server, so hopefully not too many hermits join it overnight, but I will catch you all tomorrow morning. And we are back on the server. So let's take out all of these blocks and let's have a look. Okay, so it feels, things feel a little bit on the laggy side. So let's, let's quickly switch off these because they're probably causing a bit of a mess. But no way. All of those chests are open and empty. That's a very good sign. Now let's see, hoppers are empty. These little guys are empty. We've still got some redstone clocks running. Oh boy. Did everything really, is that? Is the system still running? Is there really that many items in there? Or is it just super clogged? I think this might actually require another AFK session. That is madness, and on that note, I think it's time to end today's Hermitcraft episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please draw to that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.